All right, this is Calibos, and we're playing Enigmatica 2. So, um, I have to admit, I don't remember where I last left off. Um, as far as altar building things, I seem to recall that I had a bunch of the, the runes done and stuff. Here's the orb, uh, the level 5 altars. You can tell that it's greedily sucking down blood over here. Um, I did make a small change, I think this was off camera, where I put down uh, basically uh, these drums. So I have one here and one over by the orb. And so the center, center altar here is pumping blood into the ender tank. And that's this ender tank is the same one because the, you know the ender tank magic coolness. And this is constantly outputting into that drum. And then there's one over here, same reservoir. You know, you can see it's the same ender tank. And it is constantly outputting into this drum, which is outputting into the altar. And you can tell that it is happily guzzling down all of the stuff. So let's uh, toss that in there, toss that in there. Lava crystals, we made lava crystals. You guys were there for that. Um, so, let's turn that off. Uh, you can see that I went ahead and finished doing all of this in dark glass so we could admire the spread of the, uh, the cursed earth. Um, I also put sound mufflers in there because listening to it is really annoying. You'll see that there are a number of uh, vacuum hoppers with with chests. I do need to chunk load this area. So we'll claim it. Uh, because keeping this chunk loaded, I don't have to worry about specifically this side, so we're just going to unclaim that. Oops. There we go. So we want these to stay chunk loaded. Well, maybe not these back ones. So that it will it will continuously pump blood into the orb. In our, our blood Wi-Fi, as I've been calling it. So, as... You know, I don't remember what it was at when, when I left the last episode. But right now, it is sitting at uh, 1,350,000, give or take and still happily filling. So if we were doing all of this by by hand, you'll have to remember that it's each each heart is worth approximately 200 is it 200 life points. So yeah, this is a this is a much better way to go in my mind. I think we're going to do this thing. Um, what are they called? Drop. This is completely unnecessary, but I'm doing it. I am unsure how wise this is, though. Probably not very. So we'll do that, and we're going to close this back up. And hopefully, now you'll notice that this is still basically full because it's actually not able to pump out as quickly. Uh, you'll also notice that this is the highest tier of Blood Orb. So that is totally a thing. Anyway, uh, we need a Nether Star. I'm going to show you making the highest tier Blood Orb. So we can do it over there, we can do it over here. I'm vaguely curious to see how it will work here. 
probably not very well since it's not finished, but we can just chuck this here. And you can tell that even pulling 80,000 life points, as well as everything that's going into the other altar, it's still able to keep up just fine. So that shows you how effective this setup can be. And all this is, is one thing of runes of sacrifice all the way around and displacement runes. Now, if this was a tier six altar, these would also be displacement runes. Um, I can't remember exactly if the math would indicate that some of these should actually be the um, speed runes, because as I, as I said, uh, one of the runes actually uh, makes the the process happen faster. This is simply affects the amount that happens each process. So a, a good balance of both is actually probably the best way to go. Um, this is inputting. This is just basically buffering the size of your orb, you know, or your your orb's reservoir, and you can tell that we're still. Still going up. And hey, check it out. Archmage Blood Orb. Ta-da. So we go to the quest book. I had already made one, but I figured you guys should should see me making one and I would need an extra one anyway, so it didn't hurt. So that gets us this. We'll claim that really quick. And now we can make ethereal slates, which are the, the fifth tier slates. So let's look at slates. We're, we can take a demonic slate. I think I've only got 64 of these, but we'll, we'll do it anyway. Basically, I just dumped a stack in there, waited for it to go at each level, and then pulled it out. Uh, there it is. So, yeah, I, what I did was... Um, like I said, I just broke the altar at whatever level I needed to be. Popped things in there and just sat there and fed it blood. Uh, so what I would typically do at this point if I was super into automating blood magic is I would actually set up a... a, um, a tier... you know, an appropriate tier altar for each tier of slates. Ethereal slate. Ta -da. And then just pump them through as I needed it until I had as many a uh, set amount. All right, so there we go. We, we have the slates. Let's see how many food items we get from our loot chests. We got a robot. Oh, that's cool, actually. And a music disc. So let's toss the music disc and the robot in... I mean, I guess I could charge it. Ta-da, charged. So, next step. We have two common Tatar gems. What we need to do is make a greater Tatar gem. So, pop this in here, and let's look at what the Tatar gems need. Tartaric. Uh, looks like we need a Demonic Slate, Demon Will Crystal, a weak blood shard and a common to tart gem. So this we have, this we have, this we have demonic, uh, demon will crystal. So we need to take a sentient weapon and smash it with a tinker's hammer from embers. All right, so let's go to our embers cave. Oh, weird. Thought I saw something. Our shiny crystal of doom here. So I think we have a tinker's hammer in here somewhere. Tinker's hammer. So I'm trying to remember if there was like a anvil
and then we whack it with the hammer. Hope I'm doing this right. Boom. So now we have demon will crystals. Go us. Let's put the stuff back. Uh, what's in here? So we clearly are not going to run out of stuff for a little while. Alright, so uh, let's chuck one of these in there. Chuck that in there. And we're going to need a demonic slate and a weak blood shard. Uh, demonic slate. And a weak blood shard. What is that? A weak, oh, activation crystal, of course. Boom, demonic slate. And uh, we can chuck this in here. And now we have a greater tartaric gem. So this is a thing that I've learned just recently. If we take this and I'm holding shift and holding right click, it empties everything in and the in the one you're holding shift and right clicking into the other one. So now we can come over here and give this guy some some friendly uh, attention. And so what I will probably end up doing is converting this one to also a greater. And and filling it up because we need to. There's the greater one. Uh, we need to get the Grand Tartaric Gem. So let's look at the Grand Tartaric Gem. And we just need a greater Tartaric Gem. And a nether star, it looks like. Um, I'm not sure how much will it needs, though. So we've got a couple of nether stars. Let's give it a shot. So I think we need to do that. We need to do that. We need to do that. Uh, need a demonic slate. We need to punch this guy a couple of times. Oops. Well, there was a dude over there. I was going to look over there and make him come to me, but whatever. Diamond shield. We totally didn't need that. So the recipe for this is something I've already forgotten. So blood shard. Blood shard. Excuse me, sir. Anyway, where were we? Blood shard. Uh, demonic, weak, common. So apparently I need to go ahead and get a little bit more uh, essence. So we might look at that in a second. Meanwhile, uh, we need a Dagger of Sacrifice. That's not super hard. So let's talk about a Dagger of Sacrifice. So, man, we're going to need an Iron Sword. Where are we going to get one of those? Hmm.
pop it in there. Give it a second. So what this does is any mob that I, I, I hit near this blood altar with that is going to be immediately sacrificed into the altar. It's kind of like what the Well of Suffering does. Um, and it doesn't matter, or at least it hasn't in the past, mattered how many hit points it has. They can't come here because the well is actually just going to, like, kill them. It's pretty funny, actually. So what's going on is the... The Endermen are... Uh, uh, the Endermen are teleporting out of out of the uh, the well of suffering range because it's doing them damage so at some point I need to get a a beacon so that they will stay put um, I might actually have to fill this most of the way up and so we will definitely wait on that because you guys don't want to see me like stand there for forever to level it Meanwhile, we're at 1.7 million life points in our essence pool and still climbing. Go us. So the next step on our tour, we'll do this. Grab that. We need a Sears sigil. Sears Sigil is basically a site reagent, a reinforced slate, so that we haven't made any of these yet. So we're going to need glowstone, glass, uh, and a divination sigil. So it looks like we want to make another divination sigil, because I like having two of these. Now, if you remember, we just need a blank slate and a redstone and an alchemy array. So we'll uh, put that over there. We can put the runes back in the thing. Get rid of that. Uh, as your blue, it that was terribly bad, actually. Chuck that in there. Chuck that in there. Chuck that. Probably don't need this for just this moment, or that, or that. Let's look at blood magic. We're gonna need one of these. We're going to need some glowstone, or redstone. And then we're going to need a slate. So I believe it's like that. And then there's a redstone first. And then one of those. Then we watch the magic happen. And I really like the way that blood magic does this now. This looks really cool. So now, if we look at the recipe for this, so it's redstone first and then the blank slate. So now if we use this, uh, we want glowstone to pieces of glass. So let's grab the glowstone. I'm gonna grab two pieces of glass. Two. So glowstone. Glass, glass, and then the divination sigil. And it should, because we have plenty of power stored in that thing. Now we have the site reagent. So now, the uh, uses for this, we need a reinforced slate. So let's come here to a reinforced slate. So we're going to pop that down, then we add that, nope. 
So let's pop that down and add. Uh, I don't think that's working. So it should be. There we go. That's cool. I like how each one is individual. It has like a, a different thing. So what does this do? Okay, so at the top left of the screen, you'll notice that it is a tier 5 altar. It has, um, you know, you can see how much blood is in it. Uh, you can see the fact that it is inactive, that it is currently pumping out. And I'm not sure what the, the bottom thing means on it. Let's see what this one says. Okay. So I don't know exactly what all of that means, but it's definitely more information than we got from the divination sigil. Like I said, I like to have both because it's a good idea. Now, one of the things to be aware of with Endermen is they grant more will than pretty much anything else. So that is a handy thing to know. So let's grab that. Next thing we want, the Ritual Tinkerer. Oh, that's cool. So we can be used to move the affected ever ritual. So let's see what we need for that. Uh, that actually looks really easy. Look, we got TNT. It's dynamite. Ritual Tinker. We should just have all the ingredients in here. We just need an orb of some sort. Orb. Park Mage Orb. Ritual Tinker. Now we're going to grab one of these. Complete. And now we need an Awakened Activation Crystal. So that's actually going to be super easy to make. So let's go here. Clear that. Archmage Blood Orb, and we need another star. So this is necessary for more powerful rituals. So one of the rituals that we did is not super, the, the Well of Suffering, it's not super powerful. Uh, Mending Moss. That's terrible. It used to be good. Now it is not. So let's check to see. Uh, razor Wire. Don't we have a lot of that? So... So the only thing that we have left at this point is the Grand Tatar gem, and then we can be done with blood magic. Now we are at 24 minutes now. So what I'm probably going to do is call it, and and then I will I will finish getting all of the. The, the stuff that we need to to level this gem because uh, I'm basically just going to go and hack withers until it's full and then we'll craft the other one and then we'll have everything in blood magic so I don't know how much else you guys are interested in seeing from blood magic there are a lot of really cool things that you can do with blood magic most of it we don't actually need because uh, we have other stuff doing it. Now, Blood Magic is actually a really cheap and easy way to set up some of this stuff. 
like I said, it's very effective, and I am I am most pleased with how it works. Because you can just turn, uh, like, blood straight into lava. Uh, but while we're clearing terrain, you know, I, I filled half uh, of a de demonic gargantuan drum full of lava. And it's going to be a little while. Also, we are currently working our way through getting rid of all of the liquids here. Although I do like the idea of setting up a thing to, to kill squids here. Um, so I will, I will certainly have to think about it. Oh, I like how the water is green because the biome changed. So. But, yeah. So, thanks for coming. I, I enjoyed doing this. And I hope you guys enjoy watching me do it. So, yeah. If you liked it, leave a like. If you don't, don't. Questions, comments, concerns can all go below. Um. Have a good night.